Real Madrid are the kings of Europe once again, having won the UCL trophy in one of the most surprising seasons ever. They overcame adversity, a humiliation in the Clásico, and three unfavorable results that were turned into three remontandas. When no one expected it, the Merengues made history. Carlo Ancelotti demonstrated that he's still a top manager. Madrid has finally moved on from Cristiano's absence. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the future of Real Madrid after their 14th Champions League trophy. So make sure to stay till the end of the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all of our videos. Real Madrid may be the most successful club in the Champions League history, but they overcame Liverpool in this season's final despite the odds being stacked against them. The question now is how long they can do so with their current personnel. The build-up to Saturday's encounter was dominated by Kylian Mbappe's choice to stay at Paris Saint-Germain rather than joining Real Madrid. Real's admission of the player that they plan to build their next team around indicates an uncertain future. Real can now celebrate their fifth Champions League title in nine seasons and a record-extending 14th Champions League as a solitary Vinicius Jr. goal settled the match at the Stade de France. Liverpool, led by Jurgen Klopp, were also considered the favorites heading to Paris, but Real weren't anticipated to overcome PSG, Chelsea, or Manchester City en route to the final. A campaign that began inauspiciously with Moldovan outsider Sheriff Tiraspol defeating Real in the group stage at the Santiago Bernabeu, that, that, that concluded predictably. Since losing 1-0 to Liverpool from the 1981 final of Europe's top club championship, Real has won each of their last eight appearances in the final. Certainly, this cup has been the most difficult to win. I believe that the fact that no one has expected us to win aided us. Carlo Ancelotti, who was also in charge when Real won the trophy back in 2014, said this. I believe that winning the Champions League with Real Madrid is easier than with any other team. Given the history and the support that we have for everything that happened over the years, the club structure distinguishes it. Ancelotti has now won four Champions Leagues as a coach, more than any other coach and the same number as Real Madrid's Casemiro and Toni Kroos. Since 2014, Karim Benzema, Luka Modric, and Dani Carvajal have appeared in each of Real's five final victories, with Marcelo, Gareth Bale, and Isco having been in four of them before being deployed as replacements on Saturday. On their way to the European triumph, a squad that was written off as too old and no longer good enough at the highest level won La Liga and defeated the top three teams in this season's Premier League the French champions, and the last season's Italian winners. Coaching this team is simple, Ancelotti conceded. Will Paris, however, be their final dance? At the Santiago Bernabeu, the summer transfer window will be crucial. Real Madrid is going to go through a generational change, and while veterans like Karim Benzema, Toni Kroos, and Luka Modric continue to produce at a high level, they can't expect them to do so indefinitely. Kylian Mbappe was generally believed to be on his way to Real Madrid from Paris Saint-Germain, but the Frenchman was ultimately unsuccessful. Los Blancos must now choose between satisfying short-term aspirations by spending heavily to compensate for the failed Mbappe pursuit, or strengthening other areas with less showy arrivals. Los Blancos must also decide on the futures of several existing players. Who's going to be out of contract? Who should they keep and sell? What are their team's flaws? The youngsters on the team, such as Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, Fede Valverde, and Eduardo Camavinga have shown their worth this season by producing outstanding performances. Vinicius Jr. was formerly widely regarded as a show pony. The young Brazilian skill was undeniable, but he lacked a finished product regularly. Last season, Benzema was caught on camera asking Mendy not to pass to Vinicius during the Champions League encounter against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Vinicius is now one of the best wide players in the world, with 18 goals and 15 assists in all competitions this season for Real Madrid. In an ironic twist, Vinicius has now reached an agreement with Benzema, providing the French striker with a transition partner. His output has skyrocketed as a result of his efforts. At the time, it appeared like Real Madrid had sanctioned Eduardo Camavinga's signing as a retaliation for PSG's refusal to let Mbappe depart. Camavinga had been on PSG's radar, but the Spanish club signed him late in the summer transfer season, making him one of Europe's highest-rated young midfielders. Camavinga had delivered on his promise. For his new team, the teenager has put in a series of great performances in various situations. Ancelotti has utilized Camavinga in deep-lying position and as a deputy for Modric further forward. 
At Santiago Bernabeu, he's got a bright future. Despite Ancelotti's preference for the midfield trio of Casemiro, Cruz, and Modric this season, Fede Valverde has managed to make an essential contribution to the Real Madrid side. The Uruguayan has established himself as a key member of Los Blancos' young core, providing drive and agility in the center of the pitch. This season, Valverde has been employed on the right side of the front three to make use of his high pressing skills. Indeed, the 23-year-old forces opponents to make mistakes and can drift inside to pack the center of the pitch like Real Madrid did against Chelsea in the Champions League quarterfinal. Vinicius isn't the only dynamic Brazilian winger currently on Real Madrid's books. Rodrigo is also highly regarded at the Santiago Bernabeu, where he established himself as Ancelotti's preferred right-sided option this season, making 42 appearances for Los Blancos. Rodrigo is still honing his skills at the age of 21. He's still developing, and he hasn't made the same stride as Vinicius last year. But potential is undeniable. Rodrigo is a skilled ball handler who can defeat a guy in the dribble and is a goal threat. He's equally at ease on both wings. Last season, there was talk over Edera Miletio's future at Real Madrid, with even some speculating that he would be sold. Indeed, the Brazilian struggled to settle in Madrid, but the departure of Sergio Ramos last summer has given the center back more freedom. He now has the right appearance for the part. Militao has started 31 La Liga games this season and has established himself as Real Madrid's primary central defender. Although the 24-year-old is still has, he's got some shortcomings and he needs protection in front of him, Ancelotti has empowered this Brazilian international and managed to extract the most from a player who had previously been vilified. As club legend Marcelo had left Real Madrid, a slot at left back is going to open up, and Miguel Gutierrez is the best candidate to replace it. In his few appearances for Los Blancos, the 20-year-old excelled, starting three La Liga games for Ancelotti's side this season. Miguel may not be a first-team player for Real Madrid, but he is important for the squad's balance, especially given the homegrown quotas that all Champions League clubs must meet with their roster selections. Los Blancos might attempt to discover another big-name target for the attack after missing out on Kylian Mbappe. Few players, though, are even close to Mbappe's caliber. Real Madrid may continue to test AC Milan's determination in their pursuit of Rafael Leao, a 22-year-old midfielder who helped the Italian club win the Serie A title, but Milan appears to be holding firm for the time being. Madrid's offensive is already powerful, and the club might accept defeat and use the funds to improve the other elements of the team, like the defense. In this way, Antonio Rudiger will join Real Madrid and provide a strong foundation for the team. The German defender is going to team up with Alaba at center back, giving Ancelotti the option of fielding a back three with Militao. It's also possible that Alaba is switched to left back, with Militao and Rudiger combining as center backs. Real Madrid can still compete economically with Premier League and PSG Titans. According to Deloitte's Football Money League, they had the second highest revenue in the world for football last season, only behind Manchester City. They were named Europe's most valued club in a recent survey by analysts Football Benchmark. On the other hand, Real was in favor of a breakaway Super League because of the threat that PSG and Manchester City, both backed by Gulf states, posed to Europe's conventional elite. In Mbappe and Erling Haaland, those clubs have secured the services of two of the most fascinating young players in the world. Neither team is yet to qualify for the Champions League, but they will not... they won't be given up until they do. The next season will be drastically different, but Real will not readily abandon their title, especially with the weight of history on their side. And with that, come to an end. Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. Until next time, later.